I'm Batman. You're watching 8 bit days a week. And, um. Alright, obviously, this is Batman. And this is actually the arcade version. And, uh, yeah. If uh, there's anything that takes time from me playing games, it's actually watching movies. And since the new Joker movie came out last weekend, um, I did what any old Batman fan would do, and that is watch the old movies, I guess. <laughs> and wait for like a home release on the newer movie. Anyway. Yep, so here I am revisiting the old movie and trying out this game, this is this arcade version. I've never actually played this before. Um, of course, when we think of a Batman game based from the first Batman movie, it's usually the NES um, that comes into mind. Maybe the Sega Genesis to some. There's also a Game Boy. And I'm referring to the Michael, first Michael Keaton, by the way. So anyway, here we go. Batman, the 1989 movie. Be careful. And okay. I wonder why anyone would choose to start with the three lives, though. All right, we got a standard jump and attack button. So, as far as I recall, I never really got to see the old uh, Batman movie, the, the first uh, Milo Keaton movie, on theaters. I saw it like when it was, um, when they were airing it on TV. Of course, that comes with commercials and all. But anyway, at least um, I was able to catch it, although in a much later year Napier cleaning out <laughs> what I did but I did know the story because I think I had or my friend had like the comic adaptation of it that's where I actually read the entirety of the story so there you go I saw I read the comic before I saw the movies. Which I suppose is fine since because Batman is based off a comic book. This is actually pretty good for a... Uh, okay. It's a... Uh, Side scroller. Well, actually, it's it's a side scroller, but uh, it's not it's not like your usual side scroller. Not yet. Not so far, at least. I'm having a hard time on a simple platforming. Okay, finally. And if anyone's wondering, I I'm playing this on the PlayStation Classic once again. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, the PlayStation Classic is best for emulating multiple systems since it's um, I mean it's no retro pie yes I understand that but as far ah. oh look I'm gonna become Joker now as far as the classic consoles go this is your best choice for soft mod. So anyway, back to the movie. Um, 
watching it, rewatching it uh, again today, it's um, it's actually fine, but it does show its age. And um, I've actually watched a few YouTube videos. Um, they were pointing out how. It felt like the old, the 60s Batman, especially the last part when he was fighting, at least trying to fight Joker, when uh, he was going up against the henchmen, and it just really felt like the old 60s uh, Batman minus the pow bam zap um, effects. There were there was some campiness to it, so it wasn't. It was kind of lacking, yeah. Because once Batman reached the like faced off the Joker, Joker didn't really come off like a threat anymore. But anyway, it's still a good performance by uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, finally. Is that him? Oh, yeah, and he got me. Oh, at least I don't restart from the start of the level there. So I suppose I'm supposed to push him off the... Alright, I'm just like the movie. Wait till they get a load of me. I heard a lot of uh, good things about the new Joker movie, but I'm still kind of hesitant to see it just yet. Maybe I'll eventually watch it, but just not right now. I'm sure it's much better than the... Jared Leto Joker from Suicide Squad, but I think that's a very low bar anyway. The point of comparison these days, I guess, is Heath Ledger. Of course, there's also Cesar Romero from the 60s, which kind of like yeah, he is kind of like the Jack Nicholson uh, Joker. It's just uh, less less uh, campiness, actually. So, um, yeah, I guess it took the Dark Knight series to no wait no scratch that. It took the an the animated series to completely remove the um, campiness from mm, people's minds, I guess? If you're not following the comic, that is. I mean, sure, if you're reading the comic, you know how gritty Batman can be. And the animated series, of course, had arguably the best Joker version, but too bad it's only in animated form. That is performed by Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill himself. <laughs> and I think they made a joke about that in one of those um, cartoons, I can't remember which is, I think it was Justice League action. Because Mark Hamill portrayed a lot of um, characters. Uh, is it a toy man? Or trickster? No, no, a toy man. Trickster, I think. From the Flash series. The 90s John Wesley ship series, that is. Alright, I'm not even trying on my <laughs> playthrough right now because we have unlimited continues, I guess. And uh, it's the amount of enemies are getting ridiculous. I think I have to play this out slowly. So anyway, another good thing about 
What I liked about the 1989 movie is the surprisingly the soundtrack from uh, Prince. And there was uh, of course the bad dance. Uh, I don't think that was in the movie, but they used Party Man. That's the scene where this scene actually <laughs> when Joker was uh, making art over the existing art in the museum. Wow. How many life hit points can I take? Just two or three. Is that actually Jack Nicholson's voice? It sounds different. I don't know if it's just because of the emulation or maybe they use another voice actor. The pen is truly mightier than the sword. Alright, I'm gonna try now. <laughs> Instead of just mashing the attack button. And watch me fail. Oh, I'm out of those things. Hold on. All right. Get in the car. I think we're in for another Batmobile stage here. Now, Vicky Vale's character. I'm not actually sure if she's in the comics. I think she, she was. She is. But not as prominent as, uh, well, how the movie portrayed her to be. And yeah, she does kinda scream a lot. <laughs> in almost every scene she's in, it's kinda distracting. against the Joker's men once again. As a kid though, I remember the... the grin, the smile. That was kinda actually unnerving to see when you are a bit too young. And of course there's that scene where uh, Joker electrocuted someone. Looking at it now it seems like a cartoon though. I hate how there's kind of a delay on uh, Batman's attacks here. It's time to retire. It's, uh, it's like multiple frames of animation before you can actually land the hit. So I guess I have to conserve these uh, batarangs. starting over again. Oh really? <laughs> Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I could shoot it like 
Mega Man. Okay, that works. That's a problem when I get uh, carried away with uh, infinite lives. I just brute force my way through everything. And um, it's bad when the game actually requires you to use uh, some skill. I don't recall if they resolved uh, what happened to Eckhart, the corrupt uh, police guy. He kind of disappeared. Did uh, did someone kill him or something? In the movie. Speaking of disappearance, I think it was a uh, waste. What happened to Harvey Dent? There, they. We're with uh, Billy D. Williams and um, became Tommy Lee Jones by the third Batman movie. And uh, yeah, I, I wish they did some more developing on his character some more. Because by the third Batman movie, he just was suddenly Two Face. flies through the night and finds me ready. Alright, I hope this is the Batwing. Those helicopters are way too agile. That particular scene, how did Batman how could Batman miss completely miss Joker? <laughs> well, I'm sure Batman is not that terrible at uh, aiming. Alright. The part where they're climbing the uh, chapel.
So anyway... I guess I have, um... I mean, I'm trying out a new... Th um, it's not really a format, but... Um, I guess I have a goal, some sort of goal to be able to try out. No, not try out. I want to watch um, all the um, all the movies that has um, like a game adaptation. So not particularly play the games, but watch the movies. So like I said in the beginning, I like movies, I like games. And let's see how much I can watch. Oh, is this the end? I hope it's the end. I'm supposed to make him fall as well? Oh no. I guess we're not in the top yet. The pen is truly mightier than the sword. Well, this is way easier than the the Batman game by Sunsoft. Well, it's easier because of the unlimited continues I'm using right now. I'm not even sure if that's an actual pit. So I was actually thinking of playing the Sega... That is a pit. I was actually thinking of playing the Sega Genesis version. But I... I think I wanted to try something that I haven't really tried before, so that's why I'm playing this arcade version now. Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Mm. Didn't hear the glass, huh? Would you? Huh? The pen is truly mightier than the sword. Crazy now. Oh, is that what's his name? Bob <laughs> from the movie? Or was it the other one? I think no, that wasn't Bob. That's kind of a waste of character, though. He was uh, very loyal to Joker, but only to be unceremoniously killed by the Joker. And he didn't particularly do anything wrong. This round uh, four, is it already? <laughs> or five, if you count the chemical plant? Oh, wait, I need that. My poor reflexes are showing. So with regards the, to the movie, do I recommend it for, you know, watching today? Um, yeah, 
Why not? If you're a uh, comic book fan, it's worth watching. But I'm not gonna say it's like better than uh, Batman Begins or something like that. So, um, I would say it's uh, among the the '90s Batman. Nah, Batman Returns is better. But this ain't bad. Alright, I guess I was able to finish it. Um, thank you, Emulation and its Unlimited Continues. And that's it for this one, I guess. I'll be trying to... Playing more games based from movies, so... Um, thank you for watching. This is 8-bit days a week, and um, please comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.